Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat. How is everybody doing this wonderful morning? All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into my picks, let me get into my positive word. And my word for this fine morning is new. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody on this planet is too old or any of that to begin anew or to try new things. Have you ever heard the saying, I'm too old to try new things. I'm too old to do this. Well, I'm too old to start a new profession. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a load of crap. You're never too old to try new things. Like if you go to the same restaurant all the time and all you eat is the same thing, you're missing out on so many wonderful things in life, ladies and gentlemen. So next time you go to a restaurant, just go to a restaurant. Like if you've never had Indian food, try Indian food. If you've never had Caribbean food, try Caribbean food. If you've never had Greek food, try Greek food and go in there and don't get anything that you have seen before. Ask the waiter, say, hey, this is my first time. I want to try a traditional dish and you will not be disappointed. If you don't like where you're working, try a new job. Jobs are easy to get. Anybody can get a job. And if you have a skill, work somewhere different. You want to start your business, start it. Go to new places. So ladies and gentlemen, the theme here is try one new thing today. All right, I'm going to leave it there with new. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so before I get into my picks, let me introduce myself, guys. I am Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Statman. And guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatman.com. All right, guys, so yesterday the Four Horsemen was average. Nunez didn't really give us much. He gave us like six points. We got 12 and some change from Mancini. So it was a decent Four Horsemen, but it could have been better. So today, let's improve. All right, so we're going to start off with, with Williams. Now, Arizona owns Pittsburgh, guys. If you know, they've won like seven or eight straight games against Pittsburgh. But today's matchup, I believe, is going to be one of the lowest scoring games on the slate. I'm predicting it's going to be like one of those 2-1 games. Maybe late somebody gets hits. But for the first six innings, I think it's going to be a pitcher's duel. And I think Williams is going to be in line to probably give us about... On DraftKings, I say about 16 points. On FanDuel, I believe he gets the quality start. I'm not sure if he gets the win, but I think he'll get a quality start. So I think he'll give us about 28 to 30 on FanDuel and 18 to 20 on DraftKings. All right, for your first batter, I'm giving you Matt Adams. Now, Matt Adams is a lefty, and the pitcher he's going up against doesn't pitch well to left-handed batters. He's, he's giving up a 500 batting average against lefties and he's walked three lefty batters so i expect the lefties from washington to get hits and also get on base and once you get on base you can also you know be a part of an rbi or you can get a you can get a steal you can steal a base or whatever the case may be but i love the lefty bats in this matchup next i'm giving you max muncie max Muncy muncie is one of my favorite players in all of baseball He's a guy who he just hits, man. He just hits the ball well, and especially against righties. He has he has five home runs, 14 RBIs, and a 233 batting average. And this is a, a, a stat for you guys. He's better on the road than he is at home. He averages 9.8 points on the road. That's about four points higher than he averages at home. And in the ballpark where he is, Chicago, I believe it, it shouldn't be windy in Chicago today. I'll check the weather to see exactly but i don't think it's going to be windy i think it's going to be a nice day i think max monk c is going to do well and last but not least the boomstick play of the night is none other than toshman now toshman is a player that most people probably have not heard of the yankees a lot of people hate the yankees but i have to give them credit in one area a lot of their stars have gone down. You got Gregorius not playing. You got Stanton not playing. Judge just got hurt the other day. So they just keep players rolling through. They actually have, to me, the best farm system in all of baseball. Frazier has stepped in. Look at what he's doing. They pick Voigt up off the scrap heap last year. And look at what he's doing. Toshman is another person, another player that they picked up off the scrap heap. 
And he's already balling, guys. He already has a batting average of a 203. He's a lefty. He has three home runs and eight RBIs. But look at this, guys. Look, he hasn't even played that many games. If you look at Tushman, I'm a big fan of this guy. He's played maybe, what, nine games? But he, he hasn't really, they really didn't put him in the lineup until the Chicago game. If you look at the Chicago game and then you look from that moment on, 424, 4, 14, 22, 14-0. So he's my boomstick player of the night, and I believe he gets us a home run. All right, guys, so that's it. You got Tushman, Max Muncy, Matt Adams, and Williams. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. I am on to today. <coughs> so, guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And if you've never tried the stat man, you can try me out on a, on a daily special today for just five bucks and you'll get my top players list as well as two lines. And you can select DraftKings or FanDuel. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. So, guys, in life, always try new things because when you stop trying new things is when you stop growing. Love you guys.